Hello friends, this is Abhinav Bhargav and in this video we are going to see some of the investment models. So recently government approved the hybrid annuity model as one of the modes for implementing the highway development projects. And this model was proposed by National Highway Authority of India as investments dried up in other modes of road development projects such as BOT tall, BOT annuity. And in this video we shall first understand different modes of PPP projects for highway development. And currently there are four modes under which the projects are awarded to private developers. The first one is BOT tall, second BOT annuity, third EPC and fourth hybrid annuity model. So let us see one by one. So the first one is BOT tall that is build, operate, transfer and tall. So as the name suggests the private party is responsible for building the project, say construction of this road. For that he acquires the land, he procures raw material, he designs and he constructs the road. That is private party bears the construction risk. And not only that he operates and maintains the road during this concession period. It means that they even bear the operation and maintenance risk. And then they collect the toll and recover cost by the toll collected. And suppose if traffic does not materialize as per their projections, then they won't be able to recover their investments. That means they even bear the traffic or commercial risk. Here private party has to arrange all the finances to build the project and government awards contract to the party which is willing to share maximum toll revenue with the government. So clearly private party bears the maximum risk in BOT toll. So the next one is BOT annuity. Annuity means series of equal payments at regular intervals. And it was designed because BOT toll entailed too much risk and private developers were not willing to invest in the project. And this model is exactly similar to BOT tall except that private party does not bear the traffic or commercial risk. But how do they recover their investments? Here National Highway Authority of India pays them regular annuity during concession period. And the developer that demands the minimum annuity will be selected. So due to government's policy paralysis, difficulty in land acquisition and high cost of financing, the private interest dried up even in BOT annuity. And government brought EPC mode to award the projects, that is engineering, procurement and construction. As the name suggests, private party only designs the project, acquires the raw material and constructs the road. That is he bears only the construction risk. So Im immediately after the construction, the road is transferred to National Highway Authority of India. But EPC model was putting lot of strain on government finances. Why? Because one of the main motive of bringing private players is that private players will bring capital. But here private players were bringing zero capital and government had to think of an, an innovative project and came up with hybrid annuity model. So hybrid annuity model is a mix of EPC and BOT annuity. Why annuity? Because private players don't collect all but recover investments via annuities. And why EPC? Because government will provide 40% of the project cost. That is government and private companies will share the total project cost in the ratio of 40 is to 60. And not only that, one of the main feature is that there is a provision for inflation adjusted project cost over the time. And how it is a win-win situation to the private players and the government? See the private player has to arrange for only 60% of the project cost that is exposure and risk reduces and all regulatory clearances risk, compensation risk and commercial and traffic risk will be borne by the government that is risk for the private sector is minimal and government has to give only 40% of the initial funding and not only that the operation and maintenance will be by the private player that is it will ensure better expertise and better quality of services and finally comfort to the lenders that is banks through assured annuity payments so this is a basic understanding about different modes of ppp projects for highway development do like share and subscribe to this channel thank you